All right, time for the last game with uh, Red Viper Prince today. We've got Lannister Hollow Hill. So we have the wannabe Martell Cancer. They're going to try to do it as Lannister. I have not seen this done effectively yet, but maybe this guy's going to show me. I don't have any location control in my deck, but I do have Starfall, so we'll see. Uh, maybe I keep this because Starfall is just going to be so good. I guess I'll keep it. I have the Desert Scavenger, so that's a little bit of economy. Desert Raider is also going to be pretty good. Because he's going to want to clear my board, and you can never clear the opponent's board when they have a Desert Raider. Unless you like First Snow or something. Oh, that wasn't very smart. I just clicked that without thinking. Well, that was dumb. Yeah, you're not supposed to open Varus's Riddle against Hollow Hill, because this is what happens. Why did he make himself first player? You sure you want to do that? That doesn't seem correct. There's Lion Star. So the Lion Star is a little bit convenient. Because whatever character he puts into play with Lion Star, I can just take off the icons with Shadow City Bastard. Although it'll go into the flea bottom pile, but still, unless it's the Hound, it's still good. Like Painted Dogs gets totally shut. Oh no, they don't get shut down because they can go back to hand with their ability. But we're just going to milk that Tyrion. This is why it's like, why do you bother going first? Especially if I have Desert Raider. If I don't have Desert Raider, then maybe it's a little more understandable. But with Desert Raider, you should definitely should not go first. Do I want to play Duran? I can go one, kneel, play Duran. Then I can't milk, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, I can't play Obara for the same reason. So let's do this. Do this card, and then play this. And I think this new Tyrion actually has... He's not new, he's really old, but the uh, this particular version of Tyrion Lannister, this uh, Klansman version... Yeah, see, like, now this, this gets shut down, and it does go into the Flea Bottom pile, but it doesn't get to attack this turn. This 7-cost version, I think, has potential with Lion Star. Lion Star helps a lot because of the combo with Painted Dogs. It's really good. Still too, a little bit too vulnerable to Disruption, probably, but it's fun when it works. No, not my Great Hall. Oh no, he has to kill this for military claim, so... No Flea Bottom for him. I guess I'll do Intrigue. I should do Military first. This was a little bit of a misplay, because if I Intrigue and it discards like a Burned Man or something, then he can use that for Military Claim with the Flea Bottom. He has one gold. I think the odds of that are still pretty low. There's a decent chance his hand doesn't have any Flea Bottom targets in it. He probably put the Flea Bottom card that he had into play with Lion Star. Get him, Obella. Oh, we discard the Iron Bank. Got him. Hope you weren't counting on Iron Banking your Tyrion, because you can't do it now. Unless he has another one. Too bad I'm not playing Cancer Martell, and I don't have March to the Wall. Because I could march the Tyrion. But we don't need to do that. Only villains do that.
Don't first snow me, bro. Don't do it. This is kind of... Oh, he did it. This is kind of the problem of Hollow Hill. As you can see, he's already out of cards. And that's because you don't get any card advantage off setup. So I started with a setup of, what, like four cards or something? So I not only did I start with plus eight gold, but I also started with plus four cards over him. And you run out of cards really fast if you're not able to draw with Hollow Hill. That's why you mostly only see Hollow Hill with Stark and uh, Martell, because they can get around that. Like, they both have enough card draw that it's fine. Ooh, Ulf. Spooky. All right. I can play Duran, but he's going to get March. Like, it's guaranteed that the opponent has March to the wall. So I can play Duran, but he, I'll only have two, which is not enough for Shadow City Bastard Ambush. So I think I just have to play Obara. Yep, that's all I can do. Yeah, if I didn't do this, then it was just a Shadow City Bastard Ambush. This is better. Because whenever he attacks, I'll just put Desert Raider into play. Uh, let's remove the Intrigue off this guy, I guess. Don't think it really matters. Don't think it really matters. Okay. Oh, he didn't even use Tyrion's ability. That's handy. You don't want to send Gunthor back to draw two cards? I would have. And one gold off of Shadow City Bastard. Especially because Gunthor got flea-bottomed. Oh, what do I discard now? Probably Obella. I could also discard Obara. She's a bit too expensive. Valar, but it's not really worth it just to kill a milk Tyrion. Oh, he's milk. That's why he didn't use Tyrion's ability. I'm dumb. Damn, all these other plots are just not good right now. I don't want to close call my Desert Raider. I don't want to confiscate my milk of the poppy. I guess Return to the Fields is just never really going to be playable in this game. It's kind of sad. I think if I go Valar Morghulis, then I can play like a uh, Obella or something, and then maybe close call next turn. But I just never get a wide enough board for Return to the Fields that way, so let's just do this. I'll still put him first because we have Desert Raider, so there's no military claim. Now the goal is just to go as wide as possible. 
So we got first snow of winter out of the way. We have flea bottom with shadow city bastard, which is really good. <laughs> this is drew a bunch of duplicates. What a fail. That's why I don't tend to play a bunch of duplicates of unique characters that aren't, you know, like six or seven cost. Because you don't really want two duplicates of this guy. Like, you probably would rather that those be other cards. Probably wait and see if he uses, yeah, that, and then I'll uh, do this. So I don't want to get hit with that Gunthor ability again. Let's take the power icon. We can't stop him from doing Intrigue, and Military doesn't matter because of Desert Raider. So there's no need to use the Shadow City Bastard again. We'll try to use it to actually do a challenge. He did this in the wrong order, now I take the Intrigue icon off Tyrion with Desert Raider. You should do Intrigue first, and then just don't do Military. That's what, you're, that's what you should do in that situation. And this way I get both Intrigue and Power by bringing the Shadow City Bastard back into play. I guess he still has Lion Star available. Maybe he has something he can use with it. Hmm. Goodness. These slow players make me tired. Okay. We're going to do entry with Obella first. And that way if something comes in from Lion Star, we can take the icons. But I don't think anything is going to come in. I think I'm just going to get too unopposed. Extortion, why are you playing that card? Cards to not have in your deck. Extortion. Pretty high on the list. I did play against a Lannister Conclave deck that used like Grandmaster Pycelle to draw this card and play it twice or something crazy. I can't remember what he spent the money on. I think he just spent it on a Hound Ambush. It's like, that's cute, but you spent two cards just to ambush the Hound. It's not really worth it. Oh, can't forget to do this. Oh, once again, such bad plot options. I can't, I don't have anything good I can play as my plot. Do I Valar Morghulis? It's so bad. Let's at least play Duran before we do that, because we can duplicate him. I guess his counting coppers kind of sucks. Like, if I didn't also have Shadow City Bastard, then I would just close call. And whenever he does military, I can flea bottom in the desert raider. But I want to use flea bottom on Shadow City Bastard. So I don't want to do that. It's 
stupid first snow of winter. Totally threw my, my dex order out of whack. You win or you die? Okay. Sure, buddy. Definitely not scared of you when you die. I think I'll marshal Duran this turn and then marshal the Red Viper next turn. I might have to play Confiscation and discard my own Condemned. That would suck. Like, it's unfortunate that that happens, but you have to have this if you're going to play these big characters. Whenever they get milk put onto them, it's the only way to deal with it. You're not Stark. You don't have Skagos. Well, no more Valar, Magulus. But you can see how much good all these duplicates are doing him, which is not very much. That's why I also don't tend to run three copies of unique locations, because duplicates of them are often dead cards. Okay. Guess that's all we can do. We'll get, we're getting there, slowly but surely, we're making a board. That's sort of the weakness of this deck, is that if you're not able to go wide early, then your economy situation can be a bit weird. It can get awkward. Like, the fact that he did first snow is sort of making me start my board over from scratch. I don't have any just flat economy plots like uh, Noble Cause or anything like that. Okay, let's take the power icon again. And again, taking the icons off Ulf doesn't matter. Because he's going to do intrigue either way, and military is irrelevant. Even though it's two claim, I don't care about him uh, killing, you know, like Desert Scavenger. I'll live. I can even defend this. If it was only one claim, I don't think I'd defend it, but I don't like two claim. Oh, but can I defend it, though? Because of that ability. Yeah, I don't want to deal with the ability. So let's do this. Because there's a chance he'll use Lion Star or Ambush something, and then the ability will buff him, and I'll still lose the challenge. Not going to bring that into play. I don't bring the Desert Raider into play if the ability is not actually going to do something. You don't want to give him power for no reason.
This guy just does not know what to do with his life. Think if he doesn't have any other stuff to do, he doesn't have any ambushes, I would probably just do military. Because you still kill one character, and you get a Desert Raider power, and you get an Unopposed. You're going to win Dominance either way with your 8 gold. And like, this is obviously what my challenge was going to be, so there's no point in keeping him standing without a power icon. Uh... I guess I should have taken the icons off of that. It doesn't really matter. Get that duplicate. Okay, one card in hand, and Counting Copper's already played. I like it. Oh man, I guess I'm going to do Close Call. It's unfortunate, but I'll live. Now I can make a wide enough board that I don't need the Desert Raider as much anymore. Unless he does uh, Valar Morghulis, but I'm happy for him to do that, because it'll make my Valar Morghulis actually do something to him. What is this? Coordinated attack. Well, you need, like, a bunch of characters to use that. So, I don't think I'm scared of that. Oh, bodyguard. Yes. This gives me something to waste confiscation on so I don't have to confiscate milk of the poppy. I don't think I'm going to play out everything because I'm going to have to flip my own Valar Morghulis eventually. Let's do this for a zero gold viper. Oh yeah, look at that. Eight strength. That's what I like to see. Let's get this guy, get this thing, and then pass. See, it sucks that I, I had to use Return to the Fields. Now it would actually be good. Oh, Begging Brother. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like Begging Brother. Um, But he made me first, which is good. So let's take the power icon. Begging Brother can't cancel locations. And then go all in on power. Well, we're at least going in with these two. So 12. Bring in Podrick. Defend with 4. So he would need to get 4 more from hand. Only the Hound could really do it. Do I want to play around the Hound? Probably. Probably. Let's just go for it. I'm hoping he has Valar Morghulis, but we're going to find out. He might not have it.
Please cancel it. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll play this. Because if he pays the one gold, he can't use Flea Bottom. Paid it. Fine by me. Just to cancel the Red Viper gaining a power, totally okay. Sneal the power icon. Power is definitely the most important challenge right now. Let's go military, because the Viper will gain another power, and I want to make him use duplicates. How'd you do that? This seems wrong. Oh, nice. He wins it. But he knelt two characters to do that, so that's fine. And let's do this. Why did he give Painted Dogs an Intrigue icon? This seems wrong. Because presumably he's going to cancel the Shadow City Bastard anyways, so he doesn't need to give them an Intrigue. Though I guess if he double Intrigue icons them, then he doesn't have to waste the uh, Begging Brother. But then if he was going to defend the challenge, it really didn't matter. Let's see if he knows... Nope, not very smart. So discarding one from Begging Brother does not stop Shadow City Bastard from sacrificing itself because it's a cost. And you can see it had already left play when it prompted him to use Begging Brother there. So he wasted a goal for no reason on the Begging Brother. It stops the character from losing icons, but it doesn't stop the Shadow City Bastard from sacrificing. And I did have to do it that way because... If I don't proactively sacrifice the Shadow City Bastard, then he'll just pass. Although I guess if he passed, then his Painted Dogs would get discarded. So that's what I should have done. And by what I should have done is I should have waited to use the Shadow City Bastard and see if he used the Painted Dogs and then targeted here. Although he was going to cancel it anyways with Begging Brother, so I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's play Confiscation. Oh, Zoharis. Sure. I guess he's going to lose his Milk Tyrion. I don't know. Do you lose Tyrion here? It's actually a bit of a question. Well, let's keep this guy. And then let's keep two two-cost characters. We're losing our... We don't have any more Lord in hand, so we don't need this. Let's keep these two, I guess. Not my bodyguard. Actually, we'll need that. If his last plot is Morghulis, that'll be pretty funny. So I can get up to three Sand Snakes and target Begging Brother with Daria Sand, which is handy. 
probably going to do that. Man, the Viper goes down to four strength, though. Oh, he's such a wimp. He was going to be nine strength. Nine. Marshall Padre Payne normally. Probably not what you want to see. Well, I don't want to bounce Padraig Payne, because then he can use the ability to put him into play. Uh... Please use the cancel. Thank you. And then I pass. I guess I can milk this guy. He has two duplicates. He's not going anywhere. So his only flea bottom is Podrick, so he can't get another character into play. That's good. With flea bottom at least. He still has the painted dogs in hand. Let's take a power icon. I use Starfall here because I'm going to use Shadow City Bastard on this guy. Taking away a 3 strength Intrigue is better than taking away a 1 strength Military. If I was him and my begging brother got targeted by that Daria, I would not have canceled it. I would have just let him be sent back to hand. And the next turn you can marshal him with three gold again. No, not painted dogs. That's actually annoying because I can't defend the power by enough to trigger my agenda. Actually frustrating. Oh, hear me roar. That's spooky. Why give them two gold when you use them with hear me roar? That was wrong. Because now he's only got three. He can't ambush the painted dogs again. Okay. I guess he got me on that one. Why use Hear Me Roar on those? You could just ambush them. It's a total waste. This is also wrong. You should use these to defend power, not to do military. Military claim doesn't matter. I have four two-cost characters in play, including a bastard daughter that's going to discard your painted dogs. Oh, he used the ability. It's fine. So my last plot is Valar Magulus. It doesn't matter. I 
Like he's letting me trigger my agenda for no reason here. He could have blocked the agenda if he played it right. Neil. The Viper finally got a power. He got his first power of the game. He was a duplicate, damn it. I guess that makes sense. They were put in with Hear Me Roar. Don't Valar me! No, don't do it. Oh. That's fine. So he can go first and make me march the Viper, but then he has to march his uh, Ulf, which I think is probably even worse for him. Looks like he's, yeah, he's going to make the march go off. Like I said, I think this is actually the wrong order. Because he has zero cards in hand. He really need, he needs that character more than I did, more than I needed mine. Like, I'm still going to have three characters in play plus Flea Bottom. I told you he had marched to the wall. We're lucky that he never got a good spot to use it, but he definitely had it. I think I have this game pretty much locked up. Why would you do this? Oh, we're in challenge phase. He just didn't marshal. Why would you do this? What's the point? Maybe he's trolling now. He used uh, Mountains of the Moon to give him a military icon. I guess that does go around Shadow City, bastard. But still, what's the point? I have Desert Raider. Doesn't do anything. Oh no, not my Desert Raider. Don't kill him. Oh, he got me. He had these guys. Give me that power icon. I guess Klansman is kind of a bad matchup against Martel because you have so many military single icons. So they get shut down too easily by icon removal. Give me those three unopposed. I still don't get why put this Black Ears into play with Lion Star. Now it's going to get discarded for no reason, and you're only going to have one character in play. You could have just marshaled them for four gold, and then you would get to keep them. Looks like my plot is going to be a big old counting coppers. And we should be able to win. Oh no, I should do a riddle, because he's probably going to do counting coppers. Fingers crossed. Aw, oh, damn it. I guess I should have seen that coming. It was either this or counting coppers. I, I feel like it was worth trying. Especially because I drew that. This isn't, and like, it's not that great for him because he also has a character that's going to bounce.
Uh, Splat Orange Grove literally doesn't do anything. Do I marshal Nymeria? I do have a dead Desert Raider, so she's safe. We can just marshal her. Why not? I guess I can use Starfall and Nymeria to take both the icons off of this. And I don't even want him to do a military here because if I let him attack with Chella, then he can put in the Moon Brothers again. I think Podrick is dead. Yeah, Podrick's dead, so his Flea Bottom has zero targets. Where is the Hound, dude? You gotta play the Hound in this deck. Like, what are you doing? No Hound? I guess you can't really play Gold Mine because the agenda turns off the gold gain. Yeah, I definitely don't think Hollow Hill is the best agenda for this type of deck. Because uh, turning off gold mine is like not great. If you're gonna play flea bottom, you want to play gold mine. All right. Well, I'm gonna take those icons. If you're gonna do it that way, I'm just gonna take the icons with Shadow City bastard. No icon for you. We don't allow it. Pretty lame. Just using Starfall and Shadow City bastard. But what can you do? I tried to play big characters and win with them. He chose to discard the Red Viper with March to the Wall. He brought it on himself. No! <laughs> Off the goal town! <laughs> oh, goodness, he got me. That's funny. Do a military. Come on, do it. Should definitely do power. I'm going to laugh if he does military. Okay. Actually, this still doesn't work, because I still get the Desert Raider. So yeah, I still win. Uh, I just do unopposed power with this, and I win. Desert Raider, such a fair card. This is a dumb card. It's not even loyal. Why isn't it loyal? It should definitely be loyal. It should also, like, cost at least one more gold. It should also just not have even been printed. I mean, seriously. Like I often say, compare the small characters for factions like Baratheon and Lannister to something like this. It's just so imbalanced. Like the balance overall is, yeah, he recognizes, is not as bad because those factions can make up for it in other ways. But Desert Raider, in my opinion, is really egregious. Like, uh, Greenblood Trader is probably better than any two-cost character that Baratheon has, but that's okay. Greenblood Trader is not unreasonable for a two-drop. Desert Raider is unreasonable for a two-drop. A two-drop that ignores military claim for the entire game. All you have to do is marshal one of them, and you have infinite claim soak. Like, that by itself, even without the icon steal ability, would make it, uh, way more than, way more powerful than it should be for a two-cost character. So, yeah. Freaking got him, man.